Boynton and Boynton Beach in 1894, Major Nathan Smith Boynton and Congressman William S. Linton from Michigan hired Frederick C. Voss to show them the Lake Worth area in his motorized launch, the Victor. The captain invited his wife, Lily Pierce Voss, to go along, and they stopped at Bassett's Hotel in Lantana for lunch before looking at land further south. Major Boynton, who Lily Voss called a rough army man, bought 400 acres, including a mile of oceanfront, where he built the wooden Boynton Beach Hotel to serve as his family's summer home. The project brought carpenters, truck farmers, and railroad workers to the area. Hotel guests were delivered from the train depot in a horse-drawn Surrey along palm-lined Ocean Avenue, though still a dirt road. In the fall of 1895, Major Boynton sent for Horace Bentley Murray, who later remembered, When I arrived, there were a few tents and one or two small houses. I took charge of the construction of the hotel. The East Coast Canal was opened in 1895, providing transportation with Lake Worth and the North. George O. Butler and Franklin Sheen surveyed the farmlands and the town site of Boynton. Major Boynton set orange and grapefruit groves on the east side of the canal about the time he finished the hotel. Major Boynton formed the Michigan Home Colonization with Linton, who promoted the area to the south that is now Delray Beach. Soon, Boynton's colony flourished with pineapple plantations, tomato fields, and citrus groves. Earlier arrivals, such as African-American farmers Alonzo King and Samuel Cade, taught the new settlers how to cultivate the local muck and deal with the local wildlife of rattlesnakes and mosquitoes. The Florida East Coast Railway reached Boynton in 1896. A separate express train ran during the shipping season to help produce arrive at the northern markets before it spoiled. Also in 1896, the Boynton Post Office was established. By 1900, 83 people lived in the town. Residents built a wooden one-room schoolhouse for grades 1 through 9 at the western edge of town, now Ocean Avenue and Seacrest Boulevard. The Norwegian ship Coquimbo ran aground off Boynton in 1909 with a cargo of lumber, which was auctioned off to settlers and used to build many of the town's early houses. In 1911, the first bridge over the East Coast Canal, now part of the Intracoastal Waterway, connected Ocean Avenue to the beach. In the early 1920s, the town was wired for electric, and the first water treatment plant was built, preparing Boynton for rapid change during the real estate boom. The Boynton Beach Hotel was torn down, and Addison Meisner designed the Women's Club building that is still in use today and listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Due to a tax dispute, in 1931, the owners of the oceanfront land separated as the town of Boynton Beach. They changed the name to Ocean Ridge in 1939. The town of Boynton retained ownership of the municipal casino on the present Boynton Beach Municipal Beach. The casino, a meeting place with bathhouses, was raised in 1967. In 1941, Boynton changed its name to Boynton Beach. Important events about Boynton Beach... 1897, Major Nathan Boynton's Beachfront Hotel opens. 1911, first bridge is ever built over canal. 1913, Boynton Elementary School opens. 1920, Boynton Incorporated. 1926, Seaboard Railroad comes through town. South Palm Beach, Boynton Inlet opens. New Women's Club built by Addison Meisner opens. Boynton High School opens. 1931, Boynton and Boynton Beach become separate municipalities. 1939, Boynton Beach changed its name to Ocean Ridge. 1941, Boynton changed its name to Boynton Beach. Woolbright Road is named for the family of Thomas Edward Woolbright, Sr., born in 1875 and died in 1953, an Illinois coal miner who brought his wife and three sons to Boynton in 1912 to grow pineapples. Woolbright's wife, Lovesta Lone, Meredith Woolbright, born in 1883 and died in 1960, taught at Boynton Elementary, which opened in 1913. The family lived in the tents until their first house was built on 30 acres at what is now the northbound ramp of I-95. The Woolbrights sold their land for $100,000 during the real estate boom of the 1920s. The city of Boynton Beach was established in 1907. It has a current population of 74,483. That's 1,155% higher than the state median. The median household income is approximately $51,000.
That's down 0.6% than the state median. Boynton Beach has a total population of 72,748, 1.7% higher than 2015. Boynton Beach has a growth rank of 143 out of 413 municipalities in Florida. The daytime population in Boynton Beach is 74,652. Daytime population represents the effect of persons coming into or leaving a community for work, entertainment, shopping, etc. during the typical workday. An increased daytime population puts greater demand on host community services, which strictly impacts operational costs. There are a total of 29,311 total households. Municipalities must consider the dynamics of household types to plan for and provide services effectively. Household type also has a general correlation to income levels which affect the municipal tax base. Family households make up 56%. Married couples, 38%. Singles, 36%. Seniors living alone, 17%. Residents making above $200,000 a year annually is 3%. Residents making below $25,000 annually is 24%. 61% own and 39% rent. To get any more information on life in the Palm Beaches, contact us at exitatthepalmbeaches at gmail.com. Stay tuned for our next podcast. It's coming soon.